beauty has forever held a special place in the heart of makeup artist Brittany Nelson. Her recent visit to a Sephora store in Augusta, Georgia, exposed her to a scene that she might have considered sacrilegious, a severely vandalized makeup display. However, her initial outrage, which was triggered by the sight of this desecration, swiftly shifted its focus from the young offender to the child's mother. Nelson's upbringing was steeped in the presence of strong and influential women. Her grandmother, who wore heels every day until her 90th birthday, served as a constant source of inspiration. Her aunt instilled in her the importance of a beauty regimen from an early age, and even her own mother never faced the world without looking impeccably presentable. Her mother's motto, it's hard to serve the Lord if you are still in your slept-in sweatpants, was a reflection of their shared belief in showing up for life with purpose. Given her background, it was almost inevitable that Nelson would follow her passion and forge a career in the world of beauty. During her teenage years, she worked as a makeup artist for beauty pageants, and over her impressive 16-year career, she has collaborated with renowned beauty brands such as Victoria's Secret, Clinique, and the luxury fashion label Christian Dior. Makeup holds a significant role in Nelson's life, serving not only as a personal tool for conquering life's challenges one day at a time, but also as a means to empower other women. For her, looking and feeling good is a form of empowerment itself. It was fortunate that Nelson possessed knowledge about waterproof mascara when she entered her local Sephora store in November 2017 because what she witnessed would have moved any makeup enthusiast to tears. The entire eyeshadow tester palette of makeup forever lay in ruins, a masterpiece of stunning blues, greens, reds, pinks, purples, and neutral shades reduced to shattered fragments. For those unacquainted with Makeup Forever, it's a makeup brand highly regarded by professionals, and its philosophy, life is a stage, reflects its quality and price. With 52 exquisite shades of eyeshadow now obliterated in Sephora's Augusta store, the cost quickly soared to over $1.00, it was an exorbitant loss that would bring tears to the eyes of any beauty aficionado. Although Nelson didn't witness the incident in real time, she embarked on a quick investigative mission and soon identified a pair of plausible culprits. Clues piled up as she followed the trail left behind by the younger of the two suspects. Taking to Facebook, Nelson lamented, a small child caused $1,300 worth of damage to make up for ever eyeshadow at Sephora tonight. I'm sure he slashed she thought they were like finger paints and had no idea how naughty they were being. Undoubtedly, the display possessed an irresistible allure akin to an artist's paint palette for the child. Makeup has always been a source of joy for Nelson. Nevertheless, the sight of the ruined tester display left her heartbroken. On Facebook, she expressed, I almost passed out when we saw this atrocity, emphasizing that the destruction was even more devastating up close than in the photos. So how did Nelson deduce that a child was responsible for the incident, even though she didn't witness it firsthand? As she entered the store and headed in the opposite direction, she noticed a visibly flustered woman. Additional clues near the scene of the makeup display's destruction strongly suggested that a smaller individual was responsible for the havoc. It didn't require much detective work to conclude that a bored youngster was likely behind the damage. Moreover, the woman Nelson had seen rushing out of the store, urgently guiding a child along with her, strongly indicated their desire to distance themselves from the scene. While store staff swiftly managed to bring the situation under control and clean up the mess, a different kind of chaos was unfolding on Facebook when Nelson shared the image on her business page. Within just over a month, the post garnered more than 23,000 reactions, 27,000 shares, and 21,000 comments. Some of the comments held the child's mother accountable for the destruction, believing that she should have been more vigilant in supervising her child. One commenter expressed, there's no excuse for this. Parents bring their kids into businesses, completely ignore them as if they're not there, and expect the staff to babysit them. A responsible parent never lets their child out of sight, not only to prevent damage to the store's products, but also to ensure the safety of the child. As a mother herself, Nelson, however, holds the view that makeup stores may not be the most suitable place for children. Her Facebook post conveyed, a multitude of damaged products and disgruntled Sephora staff members do not create a pleasant atmosphere. Mothers, please consider shopping for your makeup without your little ones. It's not enjoyable for you, them, or the expensive products. Nevertheless, this comment didn't sit well with some other mothers, and one of them retorted, yes, this is terrible, and that parent is foolish for not watching their child. However, for you to suggest that people shouldn't shop for makeup with their children is ridiculous and disrespectful. Some parents don't have the luxury of going places without their children. 
Drawing from her own experience of shopping with children in tow, Nelson had some straightforward advice to offer. Speaking from my own perspective, I've had to bring Allie into many makeup stores as she's grown up, and I enforced a strict hands in pockets rule for her and a time limit of 10 minutes for me. It was quite effective, so if you find yourself needing to take your kids' makeup shopping, I suggest giving it a try.